Hello, Scotia Glenville High School Tartans. I'm Mr. Bednarik, and the faculty, staff, and administration that work here at the high school want you back here at your school this September. It's been nearly a half of a year since we last parted on that Friday back in March, and we want you to get back to the business of SGHS with us this September. Things are certainly going to look a bit different this year, but you probably already guessed that. And we won't all be together every day at the start, but whether you are fully virtual or in person in one of our three houses, Crimson, Tartan, and Strong, we're ready for you to get back to your school with all of your teachers. We've spent the entire summer working to provide the safest environment possible by implementing some new ways of doing school. I'd like to take the next couple of minutes to fill you in on some of those important things. As is already the case in all public aspects of our life together during this pandemic, it's absolutely essential that we all wear a mask when we are in person together here at school. We've done our best to organize the school in ways that make social distancing the norm. But as you know, there are times within a regular school day when it isn't possible for every moment to be socially distant. And so we'll keep our masks on to protect everyone. Masks must be worn like this. so that they cover both your mouth and your nose. You can choose to wear a mask of any design or pattern, as long as it's appropriate for school. If you don't have a mask, or if you lose or damage your mask, we'll have extras here at school for you to borrow or to take home. Throughout the day, teachers will provide opportunities for mask breaks when everyone's seated and not moving around for brief periods of time. And of course, you'll be able to remove your mask when you're having breakfast or lunch. Like any other year, you will all come to campus on your own, by car, or by bus. The buses will unload in the circle in the front of the school, and cars driven by parents or guardians will unload by the sidewalk here at the C-Wing lobby. There will be no vehicle drop-offs allowed in the back parking lot by the large gymnasium. The only two doors that will be unlocked for student entry in the morning will be the front doors by the main office and the bus circle, and this lobby entry. Both doors will have grab-and-go breakfasts available for those who are purchasing breakfast so that you can take it with you directly to the morning gathering spaces. All freshmen will go directly to the C-Wing Gymnasium for their morning and for their homeroom, and all sophomores, juniors, and seniors will go directly to the auditorium. All students will remain in these spaces until and through homeroom. This year we will not be allowing any loitering in the halls or cafeterias and other spaces other than the C-Wing Gymnasium and the Auditorium. We're going to be using a health screening tool to help maintain the safety of all of our students, faculty, and staff each day. Every day you will fill out a brief health screening form and answering a few questions. After filling out this form, you will receive a result that will tell whether you can attend school that day. If you feel like you come down with any of the symptoms that are on the questionnaire throughout the course of the school day, you should check in with the nearest adult right away and ask to be sent to see the nurse. Students will still be allowed four minutes to change classes in between every period. We're not using lockers this year or locker rooms at all, so there's little reason for anyone to stop moving or to spend time loitering in the hallways. When the bell rings, you should move immediately to your next class and do your very best to maintain social distance with others in the hallway as you go there. Faculty, staff, and administrators will require you to keep moving and avoid gathering in groups. Classrooms have already been rearranged to satisfy the social distancing requirements. You may not move any furniture without the permission of the adult in the room. And please, only sit where seats and desks are available as they're arranged. You'll see reminders about social distancing and good hygiene posted throughout the school, and the restrooms will have markings to remind you to only use sinks and fixtures that are appropriately distanced. The main changes to your daily schedule this year are that homerooms will be in one of two locations, which will eliminate one extra transition time during our school day, and that lunches will occur in the C-Wing Gymnasium at desks, which are set apart at social distance. Students will not be allowed in the building prior to 7 a.m. Our daily bell schedule has shifted slightly and it's available on our website, but you will see that our school day begins at 7.25 a.m. and finishes at 2.09 p.m. Students must be off the campus by 2.15 in the afternoon. You know that I always talk about Tartan Pride, 
You make me proud to be a part of our school. And although these last five months have been different and difficult, I've seen evidence of the strength and the resilience of our community. Now is the time to show our Tartan pride more than ever, and I look forward to our school year together in every form that it takes. Stay healthy and stay strong, Scotia Glenville High School.